How's it going, guys? So today I decided I was going to go out and do some whipping. It's a beautiful day out today, and uh, I kind of would like to get outside. Whip cracking is one of my oldest hobbies. I've been doing it out here for almost 10 years, it seems. But uh, before I go out today, I need to make some crackers. So I thought I'd do a quick uh, tutorial on how to make uh, whip crackers. When I first got into whip cracking, I would actually go on uh, like eBay and buy the crackers. And they're expensive. It was crazy. I was kind of intimidated um, on how people made them. I was so new to the hobby. So, uh, yeah, I think, you know, for people who are new to the sport or new to the hobby, this is a, a common thing. So I definitely just want to show you how I do it. That way you can save yourself some money. Okay. What we're going to be using today to make our crackers with is nothing more than the innards of regular paracord. Um, I've cut a length here, like, I don't know, two feet long, something like that. And that should be plenty. Um, classically, people use Kevlar, stuff like that. It's completely unnecessary. The inside of a um, piece of paracord will work just fine for the casual whipper. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to gut paracord. Okay. And throw this to the side. What you end up with here are uh, five or seven strands, depending on your paracord that you're using. Perfect. Something to remember here is that the length of your initial string, pretty much you're going to divide by four, and that's going to be the length of your cracker. So for me, this is actually probably going to be a bit short, but, uh, you know, it'll still work. It doesn't matter. You want it to be, you know, between six inches long, five to six inches long. These might be a bit short, but it'll work. So, so the first thing that you need here is some sort of fixed point. Um, I generally use a push pin or a nail or something in the wall, but you need something to hang this on. You can also use a picture hook, whatever. So I'm taking my string here, poking it in the middle. You can see I'm making it even. And then hopefully you can see this. I'm going to begin to twist this. There's no right or wrong answer to this. You just want to twist this kind of a lot. What you're doing is you're storing up potential energy. Okay. Okay, that's about right. So next thing we're going to do. You can see that I've left about like an inch or so down here. There we go. I'm going to take this, hold the middle, and I'm going to pull this off. Okay? Look what I have here now. So I'm holding the top loop and that, and next thing I'm going to do is going to let it go. And all of that potential energy turns into kinetic energy, and it wraps around itself. And now you have kind of, this is the, the cracker. So this is what we're left holding. So I'm going to go ahead and you see I have two little pieces here. I'm holding it together. I usually go ahead and loop this one around the back. Okay. And then I'm going to push it through the loop I made. All the while holding on to the edge. Okay. Then I'm going to pull it tight. What I got here now. See? You can see that uh, we have our cracker pretty much made here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut these, the loop and the little strands even. And again, this is going to be about a four inch cracker. I usually do six or eight inches even. I just kind of, this is the, the length I had in front of me. But um, I will go ahead and cut this. So I cut the loop. And then I like to cut all these even. Boom. Got a cracker. Now to attach it to the fall of the whip you're going to be using, first thing you want to do is cut off the old cracker. This one has seen better days. I tend to use a razor blade for this. That's just me. You want to be careful that you don't damage the fall if you can avoid it. It can also be replaced, but it's a bigger hassle. There we go. So what you do, you see how this is all twisted up? You're going to open up a loop in it just by untwisting the top of it. See? And put that over the end of the pole. I usually start about a half inch back or so. 
And then this, everybody does is different. What I do is I just go around. You can see I'm crossing over um, the back of the ball, the part that's closest to me. And I'm putting it through the loop. All right. Hold tight. That's generally enough. I mean, you could do it again if you want, or some people like to wrap this around itself. I don't know. This will probably work. There you go. Okay, so I hope that was helpful. That's a very quick tutorial on how to make a cracker for your whip. Um, it'll save you a bunch of money if uh, you're new to the hobby and you start making them instead of, of buying them. I learned that the hard way. So, okie dokie. Hope you enjoyed. I'll probably do a video later of me actually doing some whipping. Why not? But uh, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.